it's not unusual for us to have six million customers per day. We've had to get creative in the way in which we move New York City, particularly since there has been so much growth over the last few years. Basically wanted to reduce dwell time. Dwell time is the amount of time it takes for a train to enter a station, open the doors, alight the passengers, close the doors, and move out. Generally, the, the system is designed for trains to be able to do that between 30 and 45 seconds. However, we have found through analyses that on the Lexington Avenue corridor, particularly with the six, trains can dwell in a station for well over a minute. At some stations and certain times of the day, as long as two minutes. The cumulative effect of that is a degradation of service and a degradation of throughput. The service delivery team got together and we came up with some ways to try and address this new challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, please step aside and have a customer off the train first. For anyone to hear the closing doors, please. Now, please do not be on the door. The all the way into the center of the car so others may enter the train, please. The platform control program was started earlier this year when we identified problems as far as trains being held in stations due to customer loading. The role of the platform controls is primarily customer safety, but it also has to do with getting the customers on and off the train, also assisting the train crew uh, with sick customers, with mechanical problems such as door problems, and providing information to customers instead of them going to the conductor and holding the train for a greater period of time in the station. We strategically place the conductors in the problem areas where there are a large amount of customers is coming from transfer points. The conductors are on a platform, they have flashlights and they have their safety equipment and they signal the train conductor when it's safe to close the doors so the train can get out of the station in the least amount of time. We're there to keep traffic moving, to get the people aware of what's going on in the subway. So you inform them, you ask them, you know, please step aside. Let the customers exit the train before you enter the train. People are like this in their phones and the train doors are open and they're standing there and they're not realizing that they need to be walking. So we like to motivate them. So we might say, please step in, sir, ma'am. You know, you can't yell at the customers. You have to talk to them. Nobody wants to feel like they being yelled at. Our job is just to instruct them in the happiest way that we can. Our best weapon is a smile. We have very tight headways during rush hour and one small delay, even for 30 seconds, can delay up to eight to 10 trains behind it. There's no silver bullet for the overcapacity on the Lexington Avenue line. The platform controllers are part of an overall program with many different facets. So it does make a difference. From me being here every single morning, people noticing that you're here, speaking to you, saying good morning, they actually do tend to step aside before you even have to ask them to. Everybody has a destination and everybody wants to get to where they have to go. If you hold the door, this train gets delayed, the next train gets delayed, and the next train after that gets delayed, and nobody's ever gonna be on time. Trust and believe with New York City Transit, there's always another train coming right behind it. 